welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. run and he's brought down that makes it second and six from their own 27 yard line it's third down made right around the 36-yard line. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offside. Offside. Defense. Defense. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Up the middle for a nice game. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That makes it second and two. He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 48. It's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. After a decent pickup. Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 42. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Watch out here. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Why in the world would the offense run a route short for the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. <laughs> Fresno State's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. He's out of bounds at the 22. Six-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and 10. 
Ball on the 36 yard line. that takes the field on fourth down. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Tosses it out. They don't get it. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. This defense just has too much speed. They did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Jumped out of bounds at the 32. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Fresno State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. They're ready for the kick. Gets out to about the 21. Well, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Pressure and brought down. 
The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to be sacked. And they get to him again. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. Third and long now after the sack. He steps up at the 31. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Booming kick. And he muffed it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. That loss of focus is what cost him. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Fresno State has a three-point lead. Fires it out, and he's tackled to 32 yards. for the first down. He goes out of bounds around the 45-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker he's into the open field inside the 10 big play there and now they're looking at first and goal the defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now they might need to change up some of their scheme there's a player down I'm not sure what happened this is the eighth play of this drive Fresno State is up by three. They'll drop him for a loss. Five wide. Just throws this one away. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Now 
now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The Bulldogs are looking downright scary on defense so far. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes it out to about the 29. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. Here's the halfback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That brings him second and five. Very good tackle in space. Quick pass, and down he goes around the 34-yard line. Receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 30. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 30 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Let's get out of the field for the official call. Offside. Defense. Defense. In a game like football, if you keep giving away opportunities like this, I guarantee you they'll come back to haunt you sooner rather than later. From the 21-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Man down, and he's in some pain right now. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He makes it to the 18-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That makes it still the same. Under pressure. Fires that quickly incomplete. A little too high for his receiver. When you throw the football into the end zone, you've got to be extremely accurate. You don't have any room for errors. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. For the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Fresno State holds a field goal lead. Quick 
throw. Almost intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Good tackle there in space. They come out in a five wide set. Steps out of bounds at the 36. up against the five wide set. Fires quick, he catches another. Tackle around the 49 yard line. Fires out to his wide out. He's taken down at the 46 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Out of bounds at the 44. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fresno State is up a field goal. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. Knocked down around the 11-yard line. That makes it first and 10. on the draw. This is the 11th play of this drive. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Converts the extra point. So a 12 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He'll take it from the two. Walk down at the 22 yard line. Fresno State's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. down quickly that reception good for seven yards that's a good completion they didn't get the first down but they picked up about seven yards Let's go. Run, run, run. he dives and he'll be marked down
Runs it right. Nice pickup. mustard on that throw and it got away from him. Third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The Bulldogs lost a player to an earlier injury and unfortunately it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and ten. He tackles him for a loss. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Tell you what, this kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. New Mexico State gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. Fresno State has a three-point lead. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. He's at the 40, and he's taken down at the 39. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he can't get away from the pressure. So the sack makes this a second and long. Let's go. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. 13-10, Bulldogs.
set to resume action here in the second quarter. And we've got a tight ball game. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 41. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fresno State is up by three. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 16. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. The 10, open man, and it's his wide receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Fresno State holds a field goal lead. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 81-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. down and he's going to get sacked. It's second and 15. Ball on the 20. to around the 32. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Got 
at Suburban Field. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He's taken down at the 19. Fresno State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 19-yard line, second down. complete he's got room to work and he is drilled at the 33 41-yard line. It's second down. Quick out to his receiver. Missed his target that time. Yeah, you're right. The tight end had no chance at the ball at all. That makes it fourth and twelve. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 34. That brings him second and third. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Rock 
down at about the 47 yard line. the stop at the 35. Second and ten. Ball on the 35. Nice run up the middle. Gain of six yards. Third down. Right here, right here. Tackles him hard at the 21. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. And he's tackled right away. field goal. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Offense. So the Aggies saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And he hits the PAT. A 12-play, 72-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the three. And down he goes at the 28. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fresno State is up a field goal. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. He 
He's under pressure. He's brought down in the open field. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Field, steps out of bounds right around the 28 yard line. Go, go, go. Complete, he's got room and he hits him hard at the 23. him out the seven yard line. And he stopped behind the line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the eight. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Throws, and it's incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fresno State has a three-point lead. He's only thrown for three scores. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And he converts the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Decent run here, right side. It. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 42-yard line. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 36. Strike to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. That makes it 
He'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. the middle tackle made at about the seven yard line this isn't even the best example but i'm going to tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated calling these days looks to a receiver touchdown football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He makes the PAT. So a nine play, 80 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fresno State is up by three. He goes out of bounds. At about the 27 yard line. Fires out to his receiver. They bring him down at the 34 yard line. three-yard line. First down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's under pressure. They bring the quarterback down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Fresno State holds a field goal lead. Finds the freshman. He's taken down. 28 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. Fox is out to the tailback on the screen. They come out on an empty backfield. Going to the end 
zone. And it's incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is just a dream scenario for this offensive coordinator. We spent time with him this week. He had it mapped out. I don't think he had it mapped out this well. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. He gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. He fights forward to about the 36. He'll get the call again. Good outside run there. Gains his way to midfield. the 29 yard line second down they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook quick throw out to the receiver he's tackled at the 25 strike and he can't pull it in it's fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt the kick is away it's long enough and it sails right on him no good momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fresno State up six. Grabs it and hammered right there. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. He steps out right around the third. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 47-yard line. shake the defense. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 45-yard line. 
The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Fields the punt at the 13. And he's tackled at the 18. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 17. First half, our score, 30-24, Bulldogs. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both offenses rolling at will in the first half. And as you watch these teams head to the locker room for halftime, there were some skill guys. That, that chest was puffed out a little bit more. They were kind of looking up in the stands and said, did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah, see, ready to pat their stats, get some helmet stickers. Yeah, they're all excited. But I tell you what, that's the one thing that's hard about the game of football you see all the time is the momentum swings. Once you really get dialed in and once things start going your way, Sometimes it's hard to stop it, and that's why you see runs on offense, and both offenses in great rhythm. I mean, they, they haven't had many negative plays. Everything's gone in the right direction. They're both performing at a high level. One of these defenses in the second half needs to step up, make some plays, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, he really has. You know, this is the kind of guy that's a, just a perfect fit for this system. This team's really going to miss him down the road starting next year. You go back and you look at some of these plays, and my gosh, this guy's doing it all. He's avoiding the pressure, number one. He's making great decisions. He sees the whole field, and he's just making it look effortless overall. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Fresno State with a six-point lead. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Halfback's got him on a quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a long 
loss. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. The Bulldog staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Here's a quick throw, and that's his receiver who's wide open. Touchdown, Aggies! This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he hits the PAT. New Mexico State lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. Five wide. it out to about the 49. A little toss across the middle. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds around the 33 yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Let's go! Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at the 27. Quick pass. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. They'll run it. And they'll 
get him in the backfield. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. Should be an easy field goal. Fresno State can take the lead here with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. What a collision! Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. From their own 27-yard line, third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Boy, I thought he was going to pick it up. That was a solid effort, but the defense held him back. it out to about the 34-yard line. Fresno State's the higher-ranked team, and it's showing up right now. I think it just took them a half to kind of get things going. They were a little sloppy early in this game. They've settled down now, and this is the team we expected to see. So we're just about ready to return to action. Fresno State is up two. He fires left side. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. it all going deep oh boy almost intercepted he's taken down at the 42. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's on the run. Gets it. He's in space. For the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? 
the defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. New Mexico State is up four, and he's in for two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here he goes. And he's taken down at the 39. Slings it. He's tackled at the 45. He makes his way to about the 42. it out to about the 27 yard line. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. throw. He's pushed out of bounds around the 23-yard line. That reception good for around four yards. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. He gets it up and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. New Mexico State is up a field goal. Brought down at the 46-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. They go with a run. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He makes his way to about the 28. That makes it first and 10. Gets to about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. tackled 
the 11 yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. They swallow that one up. That option play lost about a yard. This is the ninth play of this drive. He has some room. Tackle made right around the four-yard line. New Mexico State is up by three. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. like they're ready for the kick and he got all of this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense immediately tackled. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Play number nine of this current drive. Throws it in a hurry. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. If you're the defense coordinator, you've got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. Touchdown, Bulldogs! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he converts the extra point. 
It was an 11 play 75 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Fresno State to kick this one off. From the five yard line, he's to the 20. Makes it to the 22 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And down he goes at about the 29 yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. Got some open field. He's at the 40, and they push him out at about the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Excellent open field tackle. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after it. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. No good on fourth down. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Fresno State with a one-point lead. On the throw, incomplete pass. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. And he's going to come up with a sack. pressure on this quarterback great job by the defense tonight getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line the defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Get 
gets out to around the 48. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. He fights forward to about the 49. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at about the 45. That makes it third and three. Daylight. He gets hit out of bounds around the 39 yard line. Big opening makes it out to about the 23. That makes it first and 10. from the 23-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 22. Here's a run. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He's taken down at the 12-yard line. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. So the Aggies running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. Throws and it's incomplete. That makes it fourth and twelve. New Mexico State can take the lead here with this field goal. It's up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Great pressure on the quarterback force, that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Quick pass, knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, 
They stuck it between the uprights for three. New Mexico State is up two. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. New Mexico State's leading by two. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Here's a draw. Makes it to the 41. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27. And he is drilled at the 30. it all going long incomplete so the kicker comes out he'll try to put three points on the board New Mexico State with a two-point advantage it's up looks long enough no good he pushed it to the right all it takes is a split second of something going wrong a low snap a bad hold a slip and you've got a miss to the right or the left this is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at about the 35. That's good to have him five yards. That brings him second and five. And he's got his man, and he's taken down at about the 49. He's at the 40. That's a great tackle. The 39-yard line. Trying to get it to his receiver. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Nice run up the middle. and he can't make the grab. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Takes it up 
the middle for a nice run. He goes out of bounds. Right around the six-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five yard setback can do damage to a drive. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big-time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Boy, if I'm this quarterback, I'm thinking about a touchdown. The last thing I want to do is potentially put the game on the line and rely on the kicker to have to come through for it. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That makes it second and eight. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's set. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Three-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fresno State is up one. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. the stop right around the 40 and that play was snuffed out from the get-go you're right it's a delayed handoff to the tailback and the defense wasn't fooled at all there gets it out to his receiver in a hurry and they finally push him out at the 33 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The 10. What's left? Finding his tailback. Nice play to set up first and goal. He 
gets out to about the six yard line. Fresno State up a point. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Swings it out there incomplete. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. He's leveled at the 22-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, the blocking wasn't there, and down he went. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. He's out of bounds at the 19. That's a good Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he hits him hard at the eight. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. It's a touchdown. He makes it four scoring passes. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's had. Very important play coming up. And if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Still third. 
He's got it for two. Those guys just came through with probably the biggest play of the game. They had to get the conversion, and they got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. From their own 27-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Slings it, and he's hit immediately. the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Into the tailback and he's met in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second down and 12. Ball on the 37 yard line. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Passes left, going the other way. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. From the 47 yard line. First down. He's tackled right around the 38 yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From the 31 yard line, second down. He'll get it again. Makes it out to about the 23. his way out to about the nine. Here's a draw. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From the 10 yard line. Second down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. We're at play number nine of this current drive. 
Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Brought down around the 24-yard line. throw to the tight end and he's taken down at about the 35. This one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. There's the strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 49. yard line. Fires across 
picks him up. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and goal. Third and goal, ball on the 11-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Number 10 is the intention to see the That brings us fourth and goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it is good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. They'll lose eight yards there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second and long. Ball on their own 17. One. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. It's third and long. Ball on the 17-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Now, there's going to be some time left on the clock after this punt. The defense had better be ready because this game is going to be on them. They'll get the ball with the change of possession on the punt, but time is starting to be a factor. Got to have their sights on the end zone right now. There's not enough time to be sure that they can get the ball back. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he tackles him hard at the 38. They'll line up with five wide receivers. out to his wide out. He's knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. In the shotgun and five wide outs. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. it off. Runs outside for a nice game. 
on second and five. Quickly, it's almost intercepted. From the 12-yard line, third down. A little over a minute in the game. Pulls it in and stop in his tracks with that time. When you only need a couple of yards on third down, as a quarterback, you always want to try to find a receiver to throw to that's across the first down line. Touchdown, Aggies! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. Penalty markers down. They took too much Delay time. Game. Offense. Offense. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. There are a lot of ways that this senior quarterback can beat you. Boy, I, I think back to when he was a freshman. It's amazing to me how much he has matured. I remember early in his career, he would take off at the first sign of pressure. Boy, now he's just settled in, making great decisions for this offense. He's got the chance to win the game right here, so he'll need to shine. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle at the 27-yard line. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Seven. Ball on their own 27. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. He airs it out. And it's intercepted. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Trying 
trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he shoved out of bounds around the one yard line. start off an overtime period to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. And he hits the PAT. From the 25-yard line, first down. And down he goes at about the 11. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 11. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's brought down in the open field. It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Throws that to the running back. No good. The quarterback's dialed in so much on the coverage and looking downfield. By the time he came over to find his running back, he just misfired. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry, and they push him out at the 22. That makes it 37. Throws complete, he's hit right away. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. Kicks up, and it's off the upright, no good. And he missed it off the upright, and it hits the upright, no good. Oh, boy, does that open a window of opportunity. I think teams get too conservative when they know that they just need a field goal. I'd run a normal offense, and then only if I needed the kicker, I'd bring him out. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Takes it right and brought down right away. Tackle at the one yard line. 
from second and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Bulldogs. I give the game ball to the whole defense. Their performance in the first series of the second overtime was just huge. Allowing zero points in the second overtime really made things easier for their offense. Fresno State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.